Let me go and get all your pages open. Holy shit. You don't even build yeah. Teemo right. Oh my god. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Unless that's oh, support Teemo. Look, look at ranked solo. Is that, is that support Teemo? Look at my ranked solo games. Not support Teemo. Okay. Yeah. So, like, the most of them are, like, ranked 3v3s. They're so just playing and screwing around and then, like, oh, rank solo. ARAMs and stuff. Okay. Yeah. So, like, solo is where I definitely, like, do what I just understand. There's a Yasuo game that's in there. I was playing with my new roommate for college. Not usually indicative of what I play. Okay. Like, that kind of thing, but... One month Same. ago. What was your previous ID? Um, AMRK1111. Alright, let me write to you something on Skype. Okay. No. Okay. Yeah, no, I, um, so I... Be just because... The end of, okay. Yeah, oh, end of season four, I, um... I, when it season five, it was only five. I do it with my friend, uh, Heavy Rainbow. You'll see him a lot. He's like my best friend. Um, and we both hit gold one, played in a fives tournament. And I switched from jungle to top lane at that point, mm -hmm. and then tanked to gold four, got back to gold two, and then the last loss streak I got and back in gold four. So, okay, I don't know. Um, all right. So the all right. So the first thing. Here, let's open up Notepad. All right. What do you? What do you? What do you? What do you? What are your goals with League right now? So that's the thing. Is like, for me, I'm really good at math, and one of the things I really liked about the way you approach the game is one of the first videos I talked about is you're like, League is a game that's created with numbers and that there's absolutes and stuff like that. Well, so rotations like, are absolutes. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, and then you can talk about damage and, like, items and stuff like that. Where, like, if you assume your enemy can always do 100%, then mm -hmm. you can theoretically make... You would never, like, be at a disadvantage if you're taking in all the... Parts of situation. Well, let me let me use chess as an example. So when I say absolutes, um, I mean it in a way that let's say that you input a a move or a board, okay, into Deep Blue, okay. Um, Deep Blue would suggest one move, okay, and then you input the same exact, you know, uh, like data into it again, and it suggests a different move, and then you do it again, it suggests a third move, and then you suggest it again, it goes back to move one. You suggest it again, it goes to move three. You suggest it again, move three. You suggest it again, move three. You suggest it again, move two. You suggest it again, move one. That's because all three of them are good. Correct. They're all yeah. optimal. They're all absolute. Now, the, the reason that the three exist is because of psychology. Now, the computer, um, technically, I mean, Deep Blue is destroyed, so we can't actually know. The computer cannot uh, use human psychology, right? So we don't know if Deep Blue was thinking, but that would be the theory behind the three moves. Is that, okay, the opponent is weak to... Maybe maybe the computer recognized it. Maybe the reason that it suggested move one first was because it recognized the way that the opponent was moving. Even though all three of these moves are uh, optimal, number one is the most likely to, to work. You know what I mean? Maybe, maybe move one has uh, 40% and the other two have 30. Okay? Or something like that. Um... So, like, maybe that's what Deep Blue is trying to, to say. Like, uh, obviously, Deep Blue didn't say this. I'm just using it as a, you know, a reference. Yeah, but yeah. Um, the other thing is you are all over the place because your top seven champion picks, first off, Sivir's not even in here, okay? Neither is Elise. Yeah. Neither is... I mean, Orion is in here, okay? Victor is not in here, all right? Rumble's, yeah, no, yeah. Rumble's there. Okay, Rumble's there. Yeah. Is Maokai there? Maokai's there. So okay, Hecarim. I, I strayed away from Rek'Sai and... Uh, Gragas lately, and I've been playing Ori, Sivir, um, mainly just Ori, Sivir. I played um, Shivan a couple games, didn't really work out. Nautilus, and then I stuck between, like, for top lane, I played, like, um, Maokai and Malphite. Yeah. Really, some Hecarim, and then each lane I have, like, two or three champs I usually stick to for the last, like, probably 20, 30 games ish. Okay, but and, like, the champions random. are all yeah. so different. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so basically, you said you played Yu-Gi-Oh, right? So here, I'm yeah. going to give you a Yu-Gi-Oh reference. Yeah. What You literally showed up at Friday Night Magic, and you showed up with a... When did you play Yu-Gi-Oh? Like what? Uh, uh, did you play during Dad? Like Demise, OTK, Dad, etc.? Uh, no. You I did not play then? So. Did you play what? When Synchros came out and stuff? Yeah. Oh, like, fuck it, yeah, you. That, yeah, no, it's okay. That. No, before that, Oh. Actually. Yeah, uh, I don't know exactly. Did like, you play during Six Six City? Uh, it was like Destiny Hero type yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so you played during Six City. Okay, yeah. so like you show up, you showed up to a Friday Night Magic with Six City deck. Okay, 
and then your six city deck does, I don't know, maybe you go two and two, and you're like, ah, oh, this deck, you know, whatever, I'm going to play Twilight. So then you play Twilight, and you roll Twilight for five games, and you go three, two, and you're like, ah, oh, you know, I don't like that. So then you play Pla uh, Pac-Man with Crush Card Virus, Pac-Man CCV, okay? And then you go, you know, you're like, you go three, one, but then you're like, ah, oh, Crush Card Virus shouldn't lose, you know, because Crush Card Virus was like, fucking the most broken thing in the world, right? And if you had one, you were, like, golden. Okay, so you lost with Crush Card Virus, and then you go back to Six City, and then you go 1-2, and you're like, ah, something's wrong, and then you go, you know, and you, you make an entirely new deck. I don't even know what you make. You make Demise OTK. Okay, I, don't, I, I guess you didn't play it, but whatever. Uh, this is also a different meta, but you make Demise OTK, and then your Demise OTK, you go, like, 4-2, and then you, you don't like it, so then you make, like, an Exodia Manticore deck, yes. you know, and then it's, yeah. like, what the yeah, fuck? So, like, the playstyles are so... They're ridiculous. so different. Exodia yeah. Manticore is all about, like, hand control, knowing when to do certain stuff, when to pull the trigger, how to set up everything. Demise OTK is knowing, like, how to get to the OTK, sustain the OTK. Pac-Man is, like, the most controlling thing in the fucking world because you want you run a Swarm of Scarabs. I don't know if you remember that card. Yeah, Swarm of I, Scarabs. Yeah, yeah, it sounds familiar. You run this, Swarm of Scarabs. Okay, so uh, am I sharing a screen with you? No, you were not. I'm not. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Alright, so you run Swarm of Scarabs. Once per turn, you can change this card into face oh, down. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. you flip it. And then you run Swarm of Locusts. Okay. And you run. Er. What the fuck? Yu Gi Oh! <laughs> I don't know what that was. You run Swarm of Locusts. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you run Crush Card. So you know what Crush Card Virus is. Okay. And then you run, like, Pete and the Dark Clowns. Right, so you run Petons, you run like Sangan, etc., uh, and you run you know cards that all fit into that. Um, and it you know Pac-Man. All right, they call it Pac-Man because everything's like building blocks. Right, and eventually you just lock down the opponent with gravity bonds and you know swords are revealing lights and uh, what was the spell casting card like level limit area something? Yeah. Certain cards can't attack. Right, and you use like card troopers and shit. And okay, so. That was, that was that. So that was like a complete hyper-control style. Then you have, you know, Six City, which is like all draw-based and like mass power. You know, like draw, 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 and you summon out all the fucking shit and it's like abusive. And Twilight is like, you know, that was like Light and Dark Dragon. You know, which was like knowing how to play around your own Light and Dark Dragon. And then you have like a uh, Marnox, you know, Treeborn Marnox. You know, which revolves around understanding when to use your monarchs, how to use them, and like, you know, your treeborn frog and whatever. So, yeah. your match history is literally like that. You're like, okay, Twilight, Twilight, Six City, Twi you know, Twilight, Twilight, and then what the fuck's this? Like, you randomly, you know, spec'd Marnock once. And then you're like, Twilight, Twilight, and then, you know, Demise OTK, you know, because Malphite's like a one shot. And then you're like, okay, Twilight, Twilight, and you just gave up on Twilight completely. You just, you roll five different decks. And then, it, you know, it's, it's all over the place. So, first off, first thing you yeah, need so to do... The, the Karma, that, that, those next four games are the ones I was talking about in Skype. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, but yeah. The, the point still remains. And yeah, yeah, definitely. The, so, basically, you need to stick to a play style, not necessarily a deck. Okay? So, if you're going to play Control, okay? So, then during the time you played, you can play Zombie Control. Okay? You can play Pac-Man. All right, you can play uh, fuck it. You can play Twilight. I mean, that's in control, but it's like mid-range control, you know, etc. So like, you play these. Do you remember uh, Zombie Control with like uh, the tower, the like the card of safe return and shit? Um, They're always so, at like, seven this cards. It's all super vague to me, but I'm associating it with like Hearthstone and Control Hearthstone stuff and like, okay, all that kind of stuff. All right, yeah, so you play Hearthstone. Really okay, so this is yeah. like you play Handlock. Frost Mage, yeah. and then Twilight is like Mech Mage. It's kind of control, but it's also like hard hitting because that's Light and Dark Dragon, which is also the most beautiful card ever created. Look at this. Look at this fucking. Look at how beautiful he is. Do you see this? Uh, yeah. I, ha I think I still have that in a box under my bed. Man, I want a tournament with him. He's so beautiful. Oh, really? Yeah, I love nice. Lad. Um, Jesus. So fucking pretty. All right, so oh fuck, I closed your your op GG. Sorry. Um, you need it again, or you? Uh, what is it? Username is Shimmy N A. S H I M M Y N A. Control Shift. What? No, that's his friend. Oh, whatever. I can get you through your friend. Yeah. All right, we're fine. Okay. 
So, first off, you need to stop playing all these random champions. Okay. Alright, you yeah, need to... So. Like, alright, so let's go, let's go down yeah, your champions, okay? We're gonna... Make sure you go to Rank Solo, for sure. We're gonna, we're gonna go through everything. No, you're gonna tell me your champions, and I'm gonna tell you if you can play that. We're gonna do the forbidden list and the, right. the non-forbidden list, okay? Alright. So alright, so... Top, we're gonna, down. we're gonna start with top, yeah, sure. Let's do top. Alright, so... Like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe this this font is still too big. What the fuck? Alright. Uh what the fuck? Alright, top, mid, uh, jungle. And then what are your off rolls? ADSC support? Uh yeah. I mean yeah. Alright, so we're gonna have two for them, okay? So we're okay. gonna have two for support. Alright, one two. It's highly unlikely that you'll ever lose them. Okay, so now, yeah. what do you what do you have in top? Tell me your tops. Uh, Maokai. Alright, you can play Maokai. Um. Oh my God, I'm blanking. What's what's the rock? You can't play Rumble. Fuck Malphite. Malphite. You're done no, with Rumble. All right, you can play Malphite. And right. then I would say Hecarim. It's like the third there. Mm, you can like, play Hecarim, sure. Yeah. So like I, that's the, my biggest problem with them is like. When I play top, I feel like I, I leave top lane to go get a like a to go bot or like I'll play um, Malphite and then just like go mid alt mid and like get a kill there. But like I don't, I feel like if I if I fuck that up, I get really far behind. So like that's where my struggle starts. Hecarim, there. Hecarim is so if we're using the Yu-Gi-Oh references, Hecarim is very similar to uh, Exodia Manticore. Did you ever see that deck? Uh, vaguely. Uh, name some meta decks. Uh, dude, I, yeah, like I said, this was years ago. Did you ever play, did you ever see Macro Marnock? Uh, no. I'm okay, sorry. uh, yeah. did you ever see, uh, like Hunter OTK and Hearthstone? Uh, yeah. Okay, so Hunter OTK was all about surviving until the OTK and then gradually applying damage, right? Yeah. So, like, Hecarim is very similar in that sense in that he, traditionally, he gets the home guard with boots as his first item, which is not very strong combat stats, right? But it enables him to play a little bit differently than some other top laners because he's able to get back to lane way faster than other people. He gets some combat stats from it, which is nice, and then he has the teleport utility inside of it. Um, so, Hecarim is a little bit different from these other two. Now that you say that, I actually don't want you to play him. I want you to play, like, Aurelia. If that's okay. Yeah, so, so like for Irelia, I always feel like I get shit on in lane, but like outside of lane, I understand like I feel like I understand the when to go in and like use like well, in fights and stuff like that. And like I don't know, I just don't understand her spike, which that's because I haven't played her enough. So I no, that's fine. That. Yeah, you have to play her, and you have to watch like go watch like Irelia carries you videos on YouTube. One of the most like one of the one of the worst things is that players never want to watch. Okay, oh, it yeah, would it would be on. like a baseball player, right, showing up to baseball practice without a coach and wondering how to play shortstop. Yeah, so I've consumed like, more league, I think, from watching than playing in the last year and a half, two years I've been playing. Okay. Like, with everything that I've been doing, yeah. So, alright, so now with mid, who do you play? Um, Oriana. No, I saw your Ori no. stats. You're not playing her anymore. Uh, At what? Why? I'm just curious. Because you're... You're, you have a 31% win rate out over 30 games. Yeah. You don't understand her. And I don't okay. think it's... I mean, if you if you want to try to understand her and you're willing to drop even more LP, then yeah, do that. But if your goal, again, is to improve right now and climb Elo a little bit, then, you know, because that's how you made it sound at the very beginning when you talked about some of the MMR and whatever, um, then you're not going to gain Elo with Oriana. Yeah. There's no so way that I can sit here for 10 minutes, discuss Oriana no, no, with no, you. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah no, for sure. Um, like... This is the thing about Elo. Like, I don't really care about it. I want to get better at the game, and, like, that's what interests me. Mm -hmm. And, like, the only thing that fucks with my brain a little bit is, like I said, my buddy, he's going it. If he gets, like, the diamond, then I can't play with Why? him. Why? Why? That doesn't... That doesn't... Look, who is your buddy? Yeah, Go ahead. Tell me Tell me his name. He it's Heavy Rainbow. Yeah, who guy. the fuck is this? Hello? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Let me let me check his rank on the NA ladder. Oh, good. Yeah. He's uh, 49,125th. No, yeah, no, yeah, he's somebody. Yeah, yeah I'm going to see him on no, the LCS team. That's the yeah, point. No, he's nobody. 
So why do okay. you why do you care? That's kind of like I feel like the parent right now and like those those teen Nickelodeon fucking dramas or something. And like the kid comes home and you're like, but Rachel's not gonna like me if I don't go to the concert, you know? And, no. the, and the mom's no, like, that, Rachel's yeah, an idiot. Listen, okay, she dresses listen, like. I think you're misunderstanding me here. I don't. No, I'm not saying I don't care about what he thinks about me. He knows. Like, he's very so like whatever. But um, it's just about like having like it's our time together because he moved away and it's just like he was a really close friend so then he makes like another ID yeah, yeah yeah okay alright yeah so it, look okay. it's like it's like a real friendship if your friend wants yeah. to see you they'll see you if they don't make time yeah, yeah, for you yeah. they're not a friend yeah yeah for you sure. know yeah. no don't say for sure don't yes me to death no, I, I swear to god I'll backhand you through this monitor like I'll <laughs> fucking do it I, I promise alright alright good so alright all good so mid Annie mid okay um, Annie yeah they don't come to mind. I think that's like, that's a bad thing. <laughs> but, um, uh, sorry, uh, Annie, uh, Vladimir. I think those two lights you like are really quick. All right. Well, Lady. you can play Aurelia mid. You can take her from top and put her mid, or you can okay. swap that out with Malphite. There you go. Yeah. All right, jungle. Um. I know that a lot of champions. I know, like, if I would say Gragas, you'd probably say no on that. Mm -hmm. Correct. And then, um, I would maybe put Vi there. Um, no. Nope. Okay. Uh, I don't like Shivana. I know that. Yes. Like I've heard you talk about her. Yep. Um. Yeah. And then, like, then you. I know you'd say Warwick. Um. Warwick, Warwick's okay, but he's not necessary. I mean, you don't. Ha yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan of him. Okay. I don't. Yeah. Uh, now what? Skarner. What? Hello? What is that? A no. I, yeah, that's a no. What the okay, fuck? I'm sorry. No, go ahead. What? Okay. <laughs> You're like that person that showed up to Friday Night Magic's before Gravekeepers got good, and they're like, "Can I run Gravekeepers?" <laughs> and you're like, "Okay, you're getting no customs. Like, you're like." I, don't, I mean, like, I don't know. I've been trying to figure out what... I think that's why I haven't played jungle in so long, because I'm not sure what lower elo jungles are. Because I, I know I shouldn't be playing Elise, but, like, I just did. Like, I don't know. So who else would I play? Let me look at your champions. Well, first off, don't... No, you're you're never touching Lee Sin again. All right, great. Yeah, I know. I know. We that, got I that out of the way. In a long time. Yeah, you're 1-5 like with Sejuani, and you wanted to play Gragas. Hello? No, yeah, no. I mean, you make X Smithy look good there, so... Takes some, you know, takes some effort. No, it's fine. Um, let's see. You don't actually have like any junglers. Yeah, the only junglers I really played was Gragas because I feel like his kit is super strong and like all that kind of stuff. <sighs> Whatever. I guess if Gragas is all you have. No, then... no, no. Yeah, I know. I mean, I'm I'm open to playing new champions. I'm not like being like I'm only playing. Gra no, I don't. I'll throw Gragas out the window. Like just. If you say like these people are good for this reason, and I will definitely do that, kind of thing. Uh, open to new ideas. This Nidalee is this uh, jungle or is it mid? Uh, the Nidalee is jungle. What is the Rek'Sai but, games? Uh, is that you or what? Yeah, yeah, for sure. All these games are me except for. Alright, well you can't play Rek'Sai. I was just asking, but. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Alright, um, Jin Zhao, I guess, he's like a cheesy, he's good right now, especially in solo queue at lower elos. You can play Jin. Yeah. Okay, alright, AD carry, who do, you, who do you got? Uh, Sivir. Sivir who? What? Sivir and who else? Oh, uh, Sivir, Graves, okay. Revolution. Alright, here, oh there you go, you got the dynamic duo, you got the Fox and Falco. There you go. Jeez, I wrote Fox. Holy shit. All right. I mean, you can you can play Sivir if you want. It doesn't matter. Support who? Um, Nautilus. Uh, yeah, Nautilus. Jana. Uh, Jana. No. Let's do Nautilus. Uh, you like? Do you like? Do you like? Uh, do you like Leona? I mean, yeah, she's fine. All right, you do now. Great. Yeah. All right, and so that'll be your your list. 
okay, for like the next hundred games, and then you can start deviating. Okay, you want to add someone, you want to add someone back. If you don't care about LO and stuff, then you drop. You know, you can add Oriana in here to like a fourth champion or whatever, um, and you can try to improve on her. But you're gonna drop LO. I mean, I can tell you that because 30 games, you have 31% win rate. It's like me picking Garen. You know, like. <laughs> I went, yeah, yeah. I went. I dropped. Like, I dropped 500 LP in NA playing Garen. Like, you know, it's okay. Yeah. Um, it's fine. So you know, you can do that. But yeah, like that's definitely what happened. Was that like, um, I I watched a bunch of videos and like oh, I was like oh I'll play her and then, like I tried her. She I enjoyed playing her. So like I tried to get better at her. I mm -hmm. was shit at her alts for a long time and like understanding like where ball placement is stuff like that and trading. But like I've gotten better at that over time and like. I lost, like, a lot of games at the beginning. But okay. again, I lost a ton recently. Like, that was streak. That Zipper game before. That's, that, like... You just... You dealt 18,000 damage as Victor. Yeah, I know. That yeah. was... That's a little scary. I got carried game. It yeah. was really bad. Um, um, that's why I don't play Victor. 18,000 is Ori. Rumble. Let's go to a Maokai game. Okay. 14 dots. Not bad. <coughs> And just huge, there's like huge loss streaks, huge win streaks. Um, the other thing is when you lose, it's not even like you're you're like dumpstering ten deaths. It's like you have like five to, you know, it's not like the worst. Yeah. Um, yeah. So like that was my goal was like not die more than six times. A game. Well, right, but like I just said to the yeah. guy I just coached before this session is uh, yeah. there's a difference between. Um, dying no, no, no. There, there's a difference between playing to win and playing not to lose. Okay. What do you mean by that? Like, exactly what I mean by it. You're yeah, playing not so to lose. It's like people that sit, do you know poker at all? Uh, very little bit. All right. Imagine I you sit down at a game. poker table. You have two hundred dollars, and you're like, oh, I don't want to win a thousand. I just want to win a few bucks. So then, if you start trinkling down below your two hundred dollar buy-in or something at the one-two table, you start getting well, really exists. tight. You don't take. You don't do anything because yeah. you just want to get back to your two hundred and leave. You're not playing to win money anymore. You're playing to like keep your money because you've grown so afraid of it and that's kind of like uh what i was just hearing from you about you and your friend about your you know your rating as you're like trying to stay near him because you don't you don't even really care about growing why don't you hit diamond before him how about that like you know like it's not yeah. oh, okay yeah. so that needs yeah. to be your mindset but yeah like and that's the thing is like the difference between me and him is that like i have done research like try to figure out where my problems are and it's like really hard to evaluate yourself but like i record my games i'll rewatch them and like try to figure that kind of thing out and he doesn't do any of that so it's just like i i think once i fix uh, things that are well, wrong I'll don't just like, get into this uh this may sound a little bit harsh okay but don't think yeah, that no just worries. because you put in more effort than someone that you'll do better than them okay yes, there were kids in high school that they went home and they studied you know, um, there was this girl in my high school class, and I felt so bad because she did not get in the running for valedictorian. She tried so hard. She was at every yeah. fucking, like, department. Like, when you're leaving school and, like, you would walk by that classroom or something, you would see her in there talking to the teacher and stuff. You knew that she studied a lot, okay? She worked a part-time job as well. She had her own car. She had everything in order, you know, and um, she would only get, like, B's, you know, and there were kids that they sit there at the back of the classroom with their head on their table sleeping, and they don't do anything, and they get A's, okay? Um, some people are different, you know? Yeah. Um, and that that's the biggest argument that I always throw up to people when they try to say that talent doesn't exist. Now, there's all different varying levels of talent, okay? Yeah. But I'm sure that there's been times, maybe, in your life where you've sat down with a new video game with, you know, new fr or friends or something, and someone there is better than the rest yeah you know and that's just it's like why you know you guys have the same amount of time put into it his brain is picking up on things yours isn't okay and, and for some reason now that's not to say that eventually his brain won't cap and then your brain will you know because you were slower to get there you'll get better that's not you know that's not to yeah. say that but don't try to say that oh well if i do this i do this i do this then you know i'll catch up and i'll be better than him yeah. no that, that's not how it works you know? Yeah. So, it's like, it's whatever. Like linear progression. Right. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. All right? And so, this yeah. is what you do. So, here. I'm going to copy-paste this to you. Okay. okay. Everything else okay. is forbidden for you. Okay. All right. So, that's what you're going to play. 
Um, now, it's hard for me because I don't want to go over all your lost games because then it's very hard to see. It's better when I... Like, all right, so a 13-4-2 super game. Yeah. Let's see this. 35k damage. You did well on the, on the damage output. Now, your itemization. I don't understand why you don't have a QSS and there's a Z. You could basically just shut him down completely. Yeah. You know? Um... I don't understand the Negatron. So, I mean, uh, maybe you, you're yeah, thinking like Orianna and... Definitely. Yeah, especially because Zed was the strongest strongest person on their team. You should definitely just have a QSS there. Um, Orianna. Uh, 13,000 damage. You dealt fourth. Yeah. That's not good. I think it, like, that's the thing is I watched that guy, you were talking about the Orianna main guy, and I went and looked, and I like never really thought about the damage output. Mm -hmm. And like I looked, and I was like, oh shit, I do no damage in some games. The other games, I'll like straight up carry and it doesn't make any sense and then like I started to do the whole thing where you like try to place yourself on the damage list whenever you finish a game mm -hmm. and like I started doing that since too okay and then so that's pretty oh, much yeah, it that was there too um I have a couple questions <laughs> yeah copy paste them so I can just copy paste and then answer them accordingly uh, if you have them written yeah I have them on my phone I'll just copy paste them to okay real quick. I'm just gonna take a drink of water They're they're really like cliff notes, so I might have to explain a couple of them. But uh, yes, shouldn't even spell Rylai's right. Hello. I know. I know. I was typing quickly. I'm sorry. It's okay. We'll blame we'll blame autocorrect. I don't know what Realias is, but yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Don't know. All right. So anyways, yeah, so we can cut out the Oriana thing. Um, Oriana's Oriana not supposed to. Oriana does deal damage. But yeah. it, it, it's, like, th this is the most annoying thing in the world. Um, do you build 40% CDR on her? Um, no, I don't think so. Don't, I just don't tell me. I just fixed my room page so that I do okay. now. Yeah. Uh, I've met so many people that tell me that Ori, Victor, etc. don't need 40%. Oh, no, and do, I just, like, sure. I cry myself to sleep. I'm like, your champion scales with CDR. Like, all right. So, anyways, uh, new Rylize, I mean, it, it's okay. I was saying, it's, why? Why is there so much hype around it? Like, what? I don't get what the big big change was that made it like so amazing. And what because it has it, it has new interactions on all the different spells. Okay, so that, like the that's literally all. Like, okay. Yeah, so, some yeah. stuff slows more now than it did before, and whatever. Oriana okay. doesn't have a lack of damage; you're just not using yeah. it correctly. She's yeah. also not supposed to be a massive amount of damage. Yeah, she's a utility I use her carry. As like a protect, yeah. Right, she's a utility carry. Um, did you ever play Magic? Uh, no. Okay, all right. Uh, you play Hearthstone, though, right? Yeah. Okay, so imagine uh, like a priest deck that obviously this doesn't exist, but imagine in a fictional world a priest deck that heals a lot and buffs their creatures. Okay, so all, all the newbie priests yeah. that you know they play that those type of priest decks. Imagine that deck actually being good. That's what Oriana is. Yeah. So I, okay. I feel like that Oriana is like Lulu, but I always feel like Lulu. Well, they're does very similar. More, like protection, and then Oriana does more damage. Yeah. But exactly. I know that that's not, yeah. So, um, learning to carry, that that all comes inside of mindsets. That all yeah. just comes down to mindsets, believing that you're actually better, uh, learning how to carry, learning the decisions that you have to make to carry, learning to take risks, you know, maximizing potential, you know, understanding EV and everything else. Um, when is Abyssal Scepter good? Abyssal Scepter is good if the enemy team has multiple targets that are unlikely to build MR. Um, and if their MR, I believe, is uh, going to be like 70 or something or below, Abyssal Scepter will help you out. Additionally, if they have multiple uh, AP targets that are sustained damage AP, Abyssal Scepter is really powerful there. Um, if you have double AP, like it, it's there's so many variables that go inside of it. You know, it's yeah. not just a very I, simple like, answer. Look, I've never really built it because I never really understood where it fits in like a champion. Let's and, see. Like, yeah. Uh, does not fit I, I, here. Oh, actually, no, it does fit here. I mean, you wouldn't get Void Staff against this team. You know what I mean? Like, what what is their MR going to be at, like, 18? I mean, if yeah. they're terrible and they're running scaling magic resistances and stuff, then, okay, unlucky. But for the most part, if you build an Abyssal Scepter here, it's probably going to do more damage than Void Staff would. 
Okay. So you would like it's a because I've seen like some champions. Well, are it comes down to math. Yeah. You know, like uh, hold on. Let's see here. Uh, I think that's what I'm confused about is the math behind it. Like, or yeah, like let me, the, let me I, find out. Yeah, I mean, like, because I've seen Dianas, they'll buy, they might buy that first because they're not super mana dependent. Like, they don't have, they don't need a mana regenerator like Annie, but like other champions do need that. Do need that mana. Regenerator. Okay, so basically, if the target has between sixty to sixty-five MR, the pen between uh, Void Staff and Abyssal Scepter is extremely close. So then you have to weigh in. Is the magic resist that much better for you? The answer is yes. Yeah. Okay, so if if the target has 70 MR, uh, then you pen 24.5 with void, with void staff, which is very very similar to abyssal scepter. You know what I mean? But abyssal scepter gives you that much more durability and stuff, um, and yeah. it gives your team AOE, you know, magic pen and whatever, and that can help out a lot. You know, imagine giving Yi a free 20 magic pen when he has uh, sated. That's huge. You know, Garen, he does all magic damage. Sona deals magic damage. Um, it, it helps out a lot. So in the end, it ends up equating to more because it can be an, an aura pen, you know? So you have to you have to weigh the odds. Don't just always blindly go uh, Void Staff or whatever. Yeah. Um, for, you were talking about, like, as jungler-wise, like, Shivana and, like, Xin Zhao. Do we run, do I, would I run, do I want to run Zated, Zated on both? Or like what, Shivana? Yeah. Or both, both. Shivana and Zinjao. Both. You run okay. Sated on. Okay. I mean, you can run it's... Cinder Hulk if you have like a Trindamir top lane, a, a Vayne AD carry, and then like yeah. a, a, a Zed mid. Yeah, run Cinder Hulk because that's yeah. just a fucking mess. Yeah. Um, um, sorry, I don't want to pick off or anything. Garen's, Garen's ultimate deals magic. People in chat are saying that it doesn't. Am I like wrong? I thought Garen's alt deals magic damage. See here. Yeah, magic damage. People in chat are silly. All right, so it's fine. Um, um, I think other. whenever start like transitioning over to sated, like the type of jungler I always played, whereas hit level three and like gank, and with sated it's more about like farming and then only ganking for super opportune moments. And Shivana and stuff like they have, she has really good ganks in like top and bottom because of her W speed up and everything. Mm -hmm. But like with E, with like well, e, you run exhaust. Of... You run smite exhaust. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, then that makes your gank pressure. Smite much, exhaust so. with chilling smite. Yeah. Okay. Um, the other thing, yeah, with sated dragon is your biggest friend because that's what gets you to sated yeah, really fast. Yeah, and then scuttle crabs too. Like get those down. So. Yeah. yeah okay. You know. Um, yeah. this question is like silly. Please tell me you're trolling. The uh, fizz and poppy. Uh, that's not real. I'm I'm legit about fizz. I'm genuinely curious, like. Is it just abuse him when his playable trickster is down, like that kind of thing? Because it just well, I always see that champion get fed. Well, Fizz, and, like, I, I think it, counters I really huge Poppy a little bit. No, no, no. I'm talking about separate. What Fizz do you mean? On its own, like Fizz as a champion, his counterplay, like, and then I put Poppy. Fizz on can only be killed when playful trickster is down and when he doesn't have a lot of CDR. Once Fizz hits 40% CDR or like 30%, and he has playful trickster and Zanyas, he becomes like. He's like Flash, like the the superhero. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Like. Fuck. She's just. Fizz is just a bitch. Like. So, so is the goal to just like shut him down early, or just like, what as a. Like, I mean, you can I shut Fizz down early, but the the issue is that she has uh, she has a lot of efficient recalls. Like her her recalls are not that expensive, although she does require items. Fizz, Fizz is a hyper carry, yeah. um, because there is a severe need for items before they get going and stuff. Um, yeah, they do happen to deal a lot of damage with one item, but it's not like they have one three three potential or one v two potential until they have Zanyas and CDR. Yeah. So, yeah. you know. Poppy's trolling. <laughs> yeah, Pop. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Luden's echo. Oh God. What do you What do you want with no, no, this? No. Yeah. No. So yeah. Um. I. I understand the whole. I lo like. I remember seeing all the math between like death cap Ludens, all that kind of stuff. Um, for people that, because like I talked people. Ludens about it, got even they, weaker. Yeah, I know. Yeah. They claim that people were claiming that like Ludens is still good and everything. No. And, like no, they say that they like it just for like poking poking scenarios. Are there scenarios in solo queue? Ludens where it's be is a enhanced Majias. 
It is a safer enhanced Magias. That's all that it is. Ludens is still good on the champions I said it was good on that people yeah. chose not to listen to, such as, you know, it can be built on Lulu. It is Cassio. good on or Ari. It's good on Cassio. It is good on Katarina, you know. Um, but if you build it on, like, Twisted Fate, no. Because yeah. then his, his red card uh, his red card Q doesn't still CS the entire wave. Like, you know, like, you need yeah. Death Cap. Twisted Fate needs Zanyas for his playmaking. Twisted Fate needs 30% CDR yeah. uh, to be optimal. Twisted Fate needs his penetration. He needs yeah. his Lich Bane. Where does it fit? It only fits as a 6th or 7th item. That's recommended. Right, exactly. Yeah. It's, it's, a terrible, it's a terrible item. You look at all the best TFs in the world, in China and Korea, they don't, they don't really build Apto. it. Apto. Yeah, he never fucking builds it unless it's a 6th or 7th item. Right, yeah. We'll go to Korea right now. It's a terrible item on TF. It, it literally takes 10 minutes to do the math and realize that his spells do not synergize with it. And the movement speed is overkill when you consider that you're already running um, movement quintessence and movement utility and stuff. Well, look at this guy. TF. Look. There's Ludens on Azir. That's fine. No Ludens. Death Cap. Yeah. Zanyas. You know, like, there's no, there's no Ludens here. Do you see a Ludens? I don't see a Ludens. Is this the best region in the world? Or China? Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright. Let me let me see a fucking holy shit. <laughs> no, it's the, it's honestly the most frustrating thing in the world. People just no, like yeah, they, sure. they like they dick ride these pros and they don't even realize that the pros don't even always know what they're doing hundred percent. Alright, so there's Ludens on Ezreal, but that was during the Rune Glade. Uh because this is twelve days and then Korea gets uh the patches late. So that's fine. Oh look, Death Cap. Oh look. No Ludens. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, look, Deathcap again on Lulu, but probably going to be a Ludens or a uh, Zanya's. Yeah, I don't... I, the Ludens and the Orianna thing, like, playing Orianna, I don't understand why you would ever want that over any of the core items that she needs, because they're just all so helpful. Yeah. Um, Dopa. Oh, look! Look, no... Oh, no Ludens. Oh, look, Kassadin, no Ludens. Oh, look, Fizz, no Ludens. Oh, look, Victor, no Ludens. Oh, good. Oh, look, Lulu, no... Oh, okay, good. Mm, good. Good, I'm glad. All right, we got that cleared up. Fucking idiots. Seriously. It's okay. Um, the A-click thing. So, um, I, when playing, like, AD, like, kiting, I, I use just basically mouse, like, clicking back and forth kind of thing. I noticed yeah. people use A-click and stuff like that. Like, should I get in the habit of a clicks that, a or? preference. Uh, I can name you some pros that use it. Imp uses it all the time. Um, Forgiven uses it all the time. Uh, selfie uses it all the time. Uh, I use it all the like you know like I'm not a fucking yeah, pro or whatever, yeah. but like I use it all the time. There's some people that use it. It's it's a preference it's called a preference okay. for a reason. Yeah. Preference means like an opinionated you know it's it's preferred yeah, by so you it's, it's right. Straight up a preference. There's no yes. real like way to do it. Okay. If there was if it if there was a real way to do it, there would be more people all doing the same thing, and then if people weren't following them, they're just idiots. Sort of like the Ludens thing, you know like. <laughs> That's not a preference. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, there's math that you don't ignore. Like, if you ignore math, then, like, what the fuck? Yeah. Alright, so... Um, and then... Just a couple more. Uh, my brain just went flat. Um, the... So, the champions you told me... Mm -hmm. Um, they're all... Like, so, you're, you're talking about how beforehand, a lot of the champions are, like, all over the place, and their play style and everything. Um, am I missing something, or are the... It, aren't, isn't it kind of the same way? With, these are uh, all, these are all fine. What do you mean? No, no, no. So like you were saying that, uh, like champions or the champions I used to play are like. Were you saying that they were a completely different play style, which was really different, or it was wrong? Not even or that. that. It's like were, that you would too high of a mechanic, like both. Of a mechanical both. Standpoint. Okay. It's different play styles to mechanical, and then on top of that. The the rate at which you were playing them and swipping, sw uh, blah, 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 switching it up was yeah. way too much. Okay. Like it was like playing a new deck every other game. Okay. So then, with all these champions that are on the list now, mm -hmm. is it okay to switch between all them, or is there a certain like section of them that I should keep together on the? Like, I mean, day stick day to if like you're if you're a mid main or you're a top main, then you stick to mid and jungle. If you're a jungle main, you can stick to support and then top or mid. Okay, if you're a mid main, mid top jungle. Like, yeah. stay within your, you know, like, it, it's kind of like, um, 
Did you ever play like uh, Ragnarok or anything? Uh, I'm not entirely sure what that is. I don't know what it is either. Alright, so like there would be this chart, okay? okay? And then like at the top you would have like strength or something, and then you would have like wait, wait no. Vitality, which is like your HP. Oh. Okay. And then you would have, like, I don't know, agility. So now, like, these two are very closely related. Strength and life. You know what I mean? Like, it, it, they're very closely related. Now, life and agility is also related. Like, hunters yeah. and, you know, other stuff like that. And then down here, maybe you have int. And then you have, like, uh, dexterity. So, dexterity and agility are very closely related. But there's something in between them that is even more closely related. Sometimes, it, which is intelligence, okay? Because it has to be balanced. You can't just get a broken stat straight from the beginning. And then you have some other stat, which I completely forgot what it was. I want to say this is luck, which is like crit or something. Which, all right, so all of these go into each other. You could fill up, now you had to fill up three or you had to keep it balanced because you would have a, like a, a thing like this and you had to pull it towards like one side. The lines, yeah. Right, kind of thing, so you had yeah. to choose like a favorite, okay? And so if you were like a, a mage or something, you would heavily just cater to in in you know dexterity for yeah. your spellcasting. But if you were like a warrior, you're all about strength and vitality. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, if you were like a you know a, a person that did everything, you would have you know like you would you would cater a little bit towards something, but you would have stuff like dribbling into other stuff. You know. Yeah. Um, and then there's the unfortunate stuff about like classes that are super like they're they're very different. Like they require strength and intellect. Well, at the very beginning, when you choose your stats, you have to choose one or the other. Yeah. So generally, you know, people choose the one that helps them level up the fastest, so they go with the strength through or whatever, and then they go into in like, later. You yeah. know? Um, and it's, it's the same fucking... It's the same way, right. So, yeah. It's the same okay. thing. Okay? Alright. Alright. So. Okay. And then anything else, just ask me on Skype, and the bot will be up so you can re-listen to it and stuff. Okay. Okay. Thank All right, you. man. I'll talk to you later. Yep. Bye. Good luck. Good luck. Yep. See you. Okay.